Hello everybody and welcome to uh, Westwood Barnsley for uh, a little bit of uh, Enduro Legends with uh, Paul Edmondson. It's uh, a short report, this was thought we'd pop down and uh, see how things are going. Paul, it's great to see you. Yeah, cheers Robbo, thanks for coming down. Um, obviously it's a great little venue at Barnsley here at Westwood for, for training and um, Tim's been kindly enough to, to lend us the venue and we continue to uh, help the riders. Enduro Legends, how did it all start? Where did, you know, I know you've got a counterpart Julian Stevens, but where did it, the idea come from? Um, I think, as most people know, we're getting older now, and we've kind of adopted the, le the Legends type of thing now, the, the name, and uh, Julian just decided that there was uh, room for some like high-quality training, you know, some more Pacific training for Enduro riders, and that's really how we started it up between us, and we started it in Spain, really, with, a, with the Fast Eddie trips that we were doing, and kind of streamlined them a bit with Smooth being on board. Um, and then it's just progressed from there. And, yeah, we, it seems to be going really well now. And, you know, we try and cater for everyone. We don't have groups that are too big. Uh, you know, Manager Bull and obviously now we've got on board with us, with me and Julie and there's Billy Bolt and my son Jack and Johnny, um, you know, when they can fit us in type thing. But pretty much it's myself and Julie and most of the time with, with Billy. So how many training days are you looking at doing throughout the year? At the moment, we just kind of do them on demand because we don't really set our stall out to do them every week. Um, that's really what we're trying to avoid um, because we've all got commitments to do other stuff. Um, but we feel that, you know, we make sure that when we do do them, that we do them to the best of our abilities and uh, to give the guys uh, value and bike time. You've got different levels of riders here today. How do you structure the day for the riders? Uh, well, again, we're lucky that we've got, like Billy and Jack, here today um, because... When you have got different abilities of rider, I mean, the actuals, from the training side, the, the basics are still the best, you know, so regardless of how good or, or bad a rider is, um, you know, the basic tuition of the corner in the standing, which will then help them in all the obstacles that they go through, is, is still the way to do it. So um, we try and emphasise that to start with, and then we follow on really with doing, doing some technical sections to improve them. If we get different of abilities, we probably try and slip into two groups then, and uh, you know, pretty much turn around and say, right, well, you know, we'll have an A and a B group, and then we'll swap over after we've done the obstacles or the sections with them. So, for uh, somebody who's interested in coming on one of these days, what's the cost, you know, for uh, uh, the cost a day? for Enduro Legends? It's uh, it's 120 pounds for the ones at Barnsley. I think the ones at um, Kendall are 130. Yeah. That includes lunch. But again, we've restricted the numbers to 10 riders, so, you know, that's the difference. Um, and, you know, we aim for quality, not quantity. I know you've got Billy working with you today, uh, and I understand you're going to be doing some coaching with him uh, for the rest of the season, is that right? Uh, well, yeah, as I say, hopefully the, when he comes on the schools and stuff, he can learn a little bit as well, because obviously Billy's technique on the, on the technical sections is fantastic, but people forget that he's only been riding a an enduro bike for like less than six months so he's still got a lot to learn and hopefully by coming on the schools and and showing us how it's done on the technical stuff we can then help him on the other stuff so yeah looking forward to helping helping him and jack and others as much as we can i think you're right in what you said. It, is, it is his rookie year for billy but going on to jack uh, youth world champion uh, you must be really pleased following your footsteps now yeah obviously yeah well made up i mean like we said before it's been uh, it's been a tough two years, but finally at the end of it, uh, he's got a championship and he can pretty much stand on his own two feet now and, uh, and crack on with it. But uh, now we're well chuffed as a family, so it's been great. I know now you are sporting the Husqvarna wear, you're riding the bikes, the clothing, etc. That's come on fairly recently, hasn't it? And, and you're doing some training days at H2O or, or you're sort of yeah. testing the bikes at H2O? Yeah, it's a fairly uh, a fairly new thing that we've uh, agreed with the uh, Husqvarna UK and and that and myself and uh, yeah, I think they just felt that uh, there was an opportunity to get me on board and and I took it. You know, I've always uh, as a rider now and as obviously uh, you know a race promoter, it's nice to be associated with a brand and uh, certainly now with the new bikes, it's something for me to help them with and for them to help us with. So you know, they've brought some of the test days to the Fast Eddie events. Uh, which is good for them and good for us. Now, one thing I've really been wanting to ask you about is the uh, the Jason Bourne film that you did some stunt work on. Yeah. <laughs> We've yeah. seen the little video clips on Facebook, uh, but 
that must have been uh, quite an interesting experience for you. Did you get a chance to hang out with uh, Matt Damon? Uh, we saw him a few times, obviously, because he was there on, on the set and stuff. But uh, no, it was uh, something that I never thought I'd get the opportunity to do. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I did it because, as I said, it was something really special. And uh, the bloke himself, obviously, was, was real good. Um, he was like down to earth in my eyes and you know just I did what I needed to do and the uh, main thing was I, I bloody enjoyed it to be fair <laughs> yeah how much time did you spend on set there doing it how many days we were there for about a month filming and we had a couple of weeks practice and then we did the filming through the nights and of course as people know like the, the girl on the back was Katie Bullock so she was uh, you know knowing her and and she knows me well and yeah, we had we had a good we had a good time, you know. We did what we needed to do, but uh, that aside, obviously, there's uh, an element of a lot of trust from her point of view because, you know, we were thrashing around and riding on tarmac and downstairs and upstairs, and yeah, it was uh, certainly something that I treasure. And uh, we've got a few events coming up for the the rest of the year. I mean, you you just done the H2 Extreme event, which I, sadly I missed, but. The last, the last round of Eddie's Extreme is going to be in December. Is that still at the Heads of the Valley? Uh, yeah, it's still going to be called Heads of the Valleys. We're looking for a new venue now for it. We're going to move it uh, further from South Wales, further up to maybe Mid Wales. Um, but no, certainly we're going to go ahead with it. Um, and we're looking forward to it. You know, I think it, uh, it's been a little bit of doubt of how we were going to do it to start with. We've been kind of let down a little bit with the venue. Uh, but that aside now, you know what we like. We'll move on and we'll find another one. And this weekend you've got the sprint here at Westwood? Yeah, we've got the sprint. Yeah, we haven't uh, designed or built the track yet. Um, but no, again, you know, we're looking forward to, to getting that. That's the final round of the British, the ACU British Sprint Championship. So, uh, you know, we'll design a, a nice course and, uh, and put that together this weekend and see how the lads enjoy that one. Cool. It's been great talking to you. In terms of Enduro Legends, where's, where can that information be found for the people that are interested in coming to the, uh, the training days? Yeah, Enduro Legends has got its own uh, website, EnduroLegends.com. Um, obviously, Julian Stevens does a lot of the, the dealings with the uh, paperwork side and the phone calls and the emails. Um, and again, it can be contacted on Facebook as well. So uh, if you're interested, give us, uh, give us a whirl and, uh, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And everything else on the FastedyRacing.com website. That's it. Cheers, Robbo. Yeah. Thanks, Paul. It's been great. Thank you. to it if you can that's the key because no matter regardless of how big then or small the log is you get used to tapping the front wheel onto it which then sits the back into it and then you go over yeah 